Hey guys, Aiden here again. Today I'm going to uh, be showing you on Artisan how to adjust uh, these different points. So we see that Artisan is automatically marking the time that we hit 300 and it's automatically hitting first crack. We can see I set it up to uh, give me a time for when it hits 380. But what if we what if we have a coffee that's first crack is at 390 and we want to adjust this because we're trying to hit the right time. I'm going to show you how to adjust these phases in the thing. Mayard reaction, just to tell you, is what this is supposed to major. And you can see that's the time when the beans are completely yellow. They've gone from green to yellow with specks of green to completely yellow, right? And actually, this happens uh, on our roaster at about 320 degrees, but I keep it at 300 because for me, that's an easier number to keep in mind on how the roast is developing and if I'm going too quick or too slow. But if you wanted to change that and you had an idea of when you wanted to hit yellow on every crack, which is about 318, 320. I'm gonna show you right now how to adjust that. So we're gonna go into the menu, configure. I'm gonna drop down to phases. I'm gonna open that and then we'll see um, drying. I wouldn't mess with this number, the 200. We're gonna leave that there, right? But I could adjust this, like I said, we're really seeing the beginning of the Maillard at 320. I could adjust this here. I could adjust it here or here. You'll see that they move. So let's watch what happens. As I go okay. up arrow, Tied together. it's jumping. So if I wanted to set the Maillard to actually be more accurate, and again, the Maillard is when that coffee is completely yellow, no specks of green in it, I could do that. I could also, from here or from here, change for a coffee that say the first crack starts at 390, I could change it here. And so what happens is during the roast, um, Artisan is gonna give you numbers at the top and it's going to be continuously estimating when you're going to hit 380 or whatever number you set here or 300 or 320 or whatever number you sit in here and that's going to give you an idea um, on how you're doing in the roast and if you're going too fast or too slow and those are the main things you're going to be measuring if the roast is going too fast or if it's going too slow and you measure that by adjusting the gas and you're able to tell that from the graph and this is a super helpful tool because you can set it to be giving you real-time readouts so that you know whether you're going to hit uh, yellow at five minutes at five minutes and 30 seconds and it'll be constantly moving um, up above so that's how you change that.